Hi, my name is Lars, this is vlog number one. So we got something special for my brother's birthday. My sister and me decided to buy a ticket for him to go to an obstacle run called Mud Masters. If you run 42 kilometers, you pay 89 euros. And if you run 18 kilometers, you pay 79 euros. So this is only a difference of 10 euros. So stupid as I am, I thought, let's get the best deal. Let's run 42 kilometers. So my brother, my sister, her boyfriend and me, we're going to run 42 kilometers in October. I don't know how to prepare for this because this is a freaking marathon and I hate running. But maybe you're in the same situation and in this video, I want to show you how I try to prepare for an obstacle run. And check it out. Let's see if this can really help me on my way to 42k. So this is what I ordered. It's a power bag and I want to use it for my workout to train for the obstacle run. And I ordered it on Amazon. I don't know the brand. It was like not the cheapest, not the most expensive one. It's around about 40 euros. And as you can see, there are several ways how you can hold it. Like this way, this way like that way let's have a look inside you can open it over here like this and I hope that this zipper doesn't break because I read that sometimes it breaks when you throw the power back and inside you have like those 10 pounds bags so one two three four obviously this bag is not filled when you get it and yeah, you have like four bags and you can fill it with 10 pounds, which is like 4.5 kilos. So I read online that it's probably better to fill it with rice than filling it with sand because sometimes, you know, like sand is really small and then everything comes out. Like suddenly the whole bag is full of sand. So rice is a little bit bigger and I try to fill it with rice. See here, rice is not as heavy as sand, which is obvious, but now I only have like almost 1.5 kilos. And like the most heaviest bag is like two kilos something. So yeah, it's not that much. So I just used the power bag to do some workout. And what I can tell you is you can of course use it for all those basic exercises you wanna do. So you can do like deadlift, or squats or sidestep so this is really like a good way to train if you're not close to the gym if you just want to work out really quick but if you want to like work out your main muscles your core muscles but the main thing I want to use this power bag for is to do like some uphill running because I think uphill running is like a really hard thing to do and this is something we have to do in the Mud Masters and we also have to carry sandbags as well this is one of the obstacles you have to go through so yeah I, I bought this sandbag and I was doing like some uphill running up and down up and down again and again so this is a very good exercise you can do with this power bag and I also want to use it for crawling as you can see here because crawling is also really hard to do and there are some obstacles you have to go through where you crawl. You know where you crawl underneath a fence or something and yeah this is also a good thing you can train with this bag. So try to find a really nice hill you can run up and down like you can see behind me. And yeah it's a really tough exercise. Okay, so using the power bag is a good way to train for some exercises you have to do during the obstacle course. But I also do some other exercises as well. I want to explain to you like very shortly what I do. Like on a perfect week, I go running once a week. And like I told you before, I hate running or I hated it. So I just started to run like one and a half month ago. Today is the 2nd of August. We do the obstacle course in October. So I have two more months to go so what I do right now I try to run like six to eight kilometers once a week and in a couple of weeks like in two weeks time from now I try to run 20 kilometers and maybe like in the following two months until I'm running the obstacle run I would try to run 20 kilometers maybe like 
three times. So in October we have to run 42 kilometers. This will be hard. But if you have some other advice, how to prepare for a marathon, if you know how to train, please post a comment. Help me help everyone who's watching this video. If you want to see me how I run 20 kilometers, please give me a thumb up or post a comment. What else do I exercise? I also do like fitness boxing once a week, which is really good for coordination. I try to do yoga once a week, which is good for body balance, body tension, which you need probably if you climb a lot, if you climb up something, there are some obstacles where you have to climb like on ropes and stuff. And I also go to the gym like three times a week. But as I said, this is on a very good week. Very often something happens and I'm not able to do all the exercises I want to do. So three days a week I hit the gym and I'm doing like a special exercising. I'm doing the German volume workout, which is a three day split. And you have like on the very first day you have like chest and back. The second day you do like lower back and you do legs and abs and the third day you do like biceps and triceps German volume workout is quite special as you train strength and endurance which means like on a day for example the very first day when you train chest and back um, you only have like four exercises and you only have super sets so you start with a super set doing like pull downs and you also do like chest press you do like 10 super sets so you do like chest press pull down chest press pull down no break in between so you do 10 sets and 10 reps without having a break and after you finish this there are only two more exercises you do again you do super sets and you do like butterflies for the chest and you do like dumbbells and what you do now you do like six super sets so butterfly dumbbells and you do six reps as well again and that's it after you finish this, you're done. And this is like really hard, but you also have like this endurance part. No break, just exercise, exercise, exercise really hard. I always love to go to the gym. So this is nothing which is really hard for me. So the combination of all this, gym, yoga, fitness boxing and running. This is my plan. This is what I do two more months and I see if I can run a 42k obstacle course in October. There are some links in the description if you want to see the German volume workout. If you have some question about that please post a comment and I will help you and I will give you some advice how I train as well. If you want to see more videos about how to be fit, how to be healthy, please give me a thumb up because this is my very first video about that. I tried that a little bit. And yeah, this obstacle course of course will be like a special challenge for me and my siblings. I'm looking forward, I'm a little bit scared. So whenever my app tells me like, oh, you're doing like uh, four kilometers right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is only four kilometers. And I have to do 42 kilometers in October. What a stupid idea, stupid.